My name is Jakob Juhl. I am a Danish artist and writer. I am also a human being, which means I am also an animal. And maybe that means that everything I do is natural. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe everything I do is cultural or some of what I do is artificial. And that is something I'm working with as an artist. Um, to challenge the definitions of what we mean when we say something is natural and when it's cultural or artificial. What do these boundaries mean and where are they? And I'm trying to move these boundaries or maybe dissolve them and trying to mix things up to make us more aware of what we mean when we say a word like nature. Because it matters. It has consequences for our own lives, for the lives of other animals, for the planet, that we're not aware of um, how we are a part of nature. And uh, one of the ways I've been working with this is doing this exhibition. Uh, it's called Imagine a Tree, and it's a big uh, site-specific forest that I've built in uh, Kunsthalle Seinejoki in Finland. When I work as an artist, I usually work with nature. What do we mean when we say the word nature? What is natural? And that also raises questions about what is unnatural, what is artificial, and what is cultural. And the really interesting thing for me to work with is how these boundaries are moving all the time. They're moving in uh, historical terms. When they said nature 100 years ago, they meant something else than we do now. And these are really interesting times because things are moving. There are many crises in our time. So in like 10 years from now, we might mean something else when we say the word nature. In 100 years time, something completely different, I think. So what I find interesting is, is to sort of mix these terms and definitions. Um, mix them up in like the hybrid creatures that I make. Um, in this exhibition, there's a big, it's basically a big forest uh, made of wood, literally. And in that forest are some hybrid creatures. They're kind of the living beings that live in this forest. And they're all mixing what we call natural and artificial. Um, so they take some elements that look organic and look like something from a living being, and then they mix them up with things that are obviously artificial or man-made or plastic. And then they are something new. They, they end up in this weird space between our, our normal categories of natural and artificial. They mix them up completely. And that's kind of the point of this exhibition, to, to try and raise these questions of, of, I mean, does it make sense the way that we talk about nature? I mean, we don't really have any sort of pure, untouched nature left, and we probably never will have again. So how can we live in a world that is broken in a way, where we are, um, we are animals? We are biological beings just the same as a tree or a dog or a pig, but we behave in different ways. So when I build a forest like this, is that an unnatural behavior? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm just asking the questions. One of the elements of the exhibition are these cards. Um, so these are the, some cards, 10 different cards that you can pick up when you're a visitor in the exhibition. And the images on all these cards are made together with an artificial intelligence. And the images also do what the exhibition does. It mixes up these definitions of natural and cultural. And then it also asks a lot of questions. So each card has some, some of them are pretty stupid questions. Questions you would get from a four-year-old, but as an adult you can't really answer them. You know, why is the sky blue? Can you define a human being? Are ten fingers the right amount? Does part of yourself only exist in your hands? How does it feel to be another human being? Is consciousness something? Can you define a tree? From soil to sun, from root to trunk? Where does a tree begin? Is there an oak in an acorn? Is a tree the same tree today and tomorrow? 
What is it like to be an apple tree? Would trees hug us if they had arms? Can I make something that is um, not natural? Um, I don't know. But by building an exhibition like this and building these hybrid creatures, building these uh, unnatural trees, I'm asking the question in, uh, in a way that you have to experience with your body, not something you can just read about. You need to be in the exhibition and experience uh, being in this kind of forest. Because this forest is kind of miming what a, a real outside forest is. So it's, the forest is kind of trying to be in two places at once. It's trying to be something that is artificial, it's man-made, but at the same time it very much is a forest. So what does that mean for our understanding of these terms or definitions like natural and artificial when we're walking in this kind of forest? That is sort of the big question of this exhibition.